But the next world-changing advance with CRISPR will actually come from using it in a way that will allow us to go to the next level by editing genes beyond just in individual organisms. We now have the ability to use CRISPR to edit entire populations of tiny microbes called microbiomes that live in and on our bodies. For decades, scientists studied bacteria one organism at a time as if each type of bacteria behaved independently. But we now know that bacterial behaviors, both good and bad, result from their interactions within complex microbiomes. In humans, dysfunctional gut microbiomes are associated with diseases as diverse as Alzheimer's and asthma. And in farm animals, microbiomes produce methane, a powerful contributor to climate change. But when they're healthy, both human and animal microbiomes can actually prevent disease and reduce methane emissions. So to harness these benefits, we need a way to precisely and reproducibly control these microbial communities. This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. And in case you guys didn't know, the Nobel Prize in Medicine has just been awarded to these two scientists whose work enabled the creation of mRNA vaccines against COVID-19. And I couldn't help but chime in with this. Why are they donning face diapers if it works well enough to win awards? <laughs> and I hope people are asking themselves the same thing in regards to these people who created this thing wearing face masks while accepting an award for this thing that apparently works so well. Well, obviously it doesn't, and it never did. In case you didn't know, the CDC has been trying to hide that for years. Over 277,000 vaccinated COVID-19 cases hidden by the CDC in 2021 newly obtained files show. So we're talking well more than a quarter million COVID-19 cases among people who had received COVID-19 vaccines were reported to the U.S. Center for Disease and Control Prevention, the CDC, in 2021, but this was not disclosed to the public newly obtained files show. So they were trying to keep it under wraps that these things do not work, and then they go ahead and, and give the, the Nobel Prize for Medicine to these two people. Well, for, for, for what? Uh, altering the RNA and potential DNA of the human population and, and engaging in what's probably going to amount to a, a genocide? Well, you know who else has won a, a, a Peace Prize, a Nobel Prize? Um, this lady here, Jennifer Dodna, uh, for her work in CRISPR. And the next advance is bigger than you think, as she talks about in this TED Talk, guys. You've probably heard of CRISPR, the revolutionary technology that allows us to edit the DNA in living organisms. <laughs> Biochemists and 2023 Audacious Project guarantee... Uh, grantee Jennifer Dodna earned the Nobel Prize for her groundbreaking work in this field. And now she's here to tell us about its next world changing advancement. She explains how her team at the Innovative Genomics Institute is pioneering a brand new field of science, precision microbiome editing that uses CRISPR in an effort to solve seemingly insurmountable problems like asthma, Alzheimer's, and climate change, ladies and gentlemen. So here we have this lady admitting that they have the ability to alter the DNA in living organisms like the, the, what we have in human beings. They're going to edit these uh, organisms with precision microbiome editing in order to fight climate change. This is absolutely mind-boggling stuff that, that you just can't make up. And you know, it begs the question, where is this potentially going to lead to? Well, it's already leading to unprecedented things like we see here. Unprecedented Chinese genetic experiment may lead to an army of radiation resistant super soldiers. <laughs> Reports out of China continue to confirm that scientists there are still seeking to push through barriers with Frankenstein-like experimentation on genes with an eye towards the manipulation of human DNA. Any and all ethnical considerations be damned. Gee, what could go wrong, eh, folks?
As you see here, they have successfully inserted a gene from microscopic water bears into human embryonic stem cells and significantly increased these cells' resistance to radiation. They found a way to introduce these genes into the human DNA using CRISPR, a gene editing tool now available in most bio labs, folks. So we, we already see where the Chinese military is taking this technology. And if she has it her way, she wants to use the technology to fight climate change. Now, how is that going to work? Well, in case you guys didn't know, <laughs> the beef industry's latest climate solution is to kill cows at a younger age. <laughs> That's right, folks. Uh, according to the National Beef Association, the main lobbying organization for the British beef industry, the longer that a cow lives, the more carbon emissions they are responsible for. As cows become less efficient at turning food into saleable uh, meats with age. So guess what? Their solution is to kill the cows. Ireland looking to kill 200,000 cows to fight climate change. Are U.S. herds next? We see this. Ireland proposes calling 200,000 cows to help meet climate goals. And farmers push back. This is absolutely insane. But now they're going to come to the farmer's aid and say, oh, don't worry. We don't even need to kill the cows anymore. All we need to do now is alter their DNA when they're young so that this isn't even a problem in the first place. Again, what could go wrong, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're going to talk about all of that and much, much more in this video. But really quickly, uh, I want to remind you that obviously having food security uh, moving forward is going to be one of the most important things that we need to focus on and uh, pay attention to moving forward as they continue to try to control the entire food industry and everything we consume. But on top of that, guys, we have to main, con maintain full control of our assets. You got to get your money out of the bank and get it into physical, tangible assets that are out of the clutches of the banks or the governments, like precious metals like gold and silver. So I wanted to take a quick moment to tell you about my friends at Patriot Gold Group, guys. When you call this number up here uh, during these business hours, you'll get connected to a free investor's guide who will help you set up a plan with gold and silver moving forward. Uh, these guys specialize in IRAs and 401ks that are backed by physical precious metals like gold and silver. It's awesome, guys. This is a great hedge against the dollar. This is a hedge against inflation. And these guys have top-notch uh, customer, uh, um, uh, uh, consumer affairs, uh, customer uh, re relations. I mean, top-notch customer service. Again, five years in a row for a custom, uh, number one uh, IRA gold de dealer by a consumer affairs. Guys, once again, when you call this number on the screen right here uh, during these business hours or you click that top link in the description below, again, you will get connected to a real live person, not some sort of chat bot or, you know, some sort of AI program. This is a, a real professional investor guide who's going to help you set up a plan moving forward and this is a uh, an affiliate link so when you purchase gold through patriot gold group you're not only helping yourself but you're helping me here at press for truth in the field of independent alternative media so it's truly a win-win guys please take a moment today to call this number on the screen or click the top link in the description below thank you everybody who does take the time to do that uh for yourself and for me moving forward all right guys uh like i said you just absolutely can't make this stuff up um climate activists are coming for livestock producers and farmers uh, european governments have been targeting the agriculture industry for several years the telegraph reports that ireland's government may need to reduce that country's cattle herds by 200,000 cows over the next three years to meet climate targets if you're wondering what the heck is is are they even talking about what's this all about well they say that cows produce uh, a, a vast amount of methane and they, they therefore need to be killed off because that's what's contributing to climate change the nba has proposed a solution to the problem kill cows when they're younger, at 27 months instead of the current 30 months, which is typical in the UK, and put a carbon tax on all these older animals. So let's just listen from the horse's mouth, so to speak, about this new technology and uh, how she wants to use CRISPR to edit the DNA of eventually, you know, starting out with cows for the sake of saving the planet. 
but uh, eventually this is obviously going to move on to humans as they are already doing in China, which we'll take a look at again. But let's take a quick listen uh, to this. Over the past decade, I've been at the forefront of developing a revolutionary technology called CRISPR that has come from the study of how bacteria fight viral infection. CRISPR is amazing because it allows us to precisely edit the DNA in living organisms, including in people and plants. Precisely edit the DNA in people and plants. Guys, th this isn't some like futuristic sci-fi idea we're talking about here. This is a capability that they have today and are already beginning to implement. With CRISPR, we can change, remove, or replace the genes that govern the function of cells. Gee, nothing scary or, or ominous about that, that they can ent like, like literally get down to the, d you know, defining the very individual um, uh, microbiomes and, and edit it on individual cell basis to do God knows what they want to do with this technology in the near future. But of course, it's all just about saving the planet, nothing to fear. This means that we now have the ability to use CRISPR like a word processor to find, cut, and paste text. Text. Copy and paste text because that's what DNA is. It's the, the, the instruction book uh, for how to build life, and that's what the, these people have to do. They have to copy and paste. Um, this is just crazy. CRISPR, amazingly, has already cured people of devastating disorders like sickle cell disease, and it's created rice plants that are resistant to both diseases and drought. Incredible, right? Oh, yeah. But the next world-changing advance with CRISPR will actually come from using it in a way that will allow us to go to the next level by editing genes beyond just in individual organisms. We now have the ability to use CRISPR to edit entire populations of tiny microbes called microbiomes that live in and on our bodies. So that's uh, the, uh, the clip that I played in the intro, which should be setting off some major alarm bells because uh, as, as you'll see, they're, they're going to obviously talk about how this is to, uh, to combat so-called climate change, like as if that's something human beings uh, can, can even do, you know, um, but eventually it will be morphed into controlling the, the very behavior of human beings. To so, study bacteria here. one organism at a time as if each type of bacteria behaved independently. But we now know that bacterial behaviors, both good and bad, result from their interactions within complex microbiomes. Mm. In humans, dysfunctional gut microbiomes are associated with diseases as diverse as Alzheimer's and asthma. And in farm animals, microbiomes produce methane, a powerful contributor to climate change. But when they're healthy, both human and animal microbiomes can actually prevent disease and reduce methane emissions. So to harness these benefits, we need a way to precisely and reproducibly control these microbial communities. Uh, what, are they considering what this uh, DNA spliced meat is going to do when humans are consuming these cows? I mean, obviously, we are the guinea pigs here in this Frankenstein experiment. And uh, it's just crazy that they would say it's all under the guise of, you know, climate change. But, I mean, guys, th this th this should be setting off some serious alarm bells. Um, this is scary stuff. This affects our health and the health of our planet. We know the poorest countries and people Listen are the this. most affected by climate change. And it's a problem created by the wealthiest people. And methane is a big part of the problem. It's been a major contributor to rising global temperatures since pre-industrial times. Specific microbiome compositions in livestock can actually reduce methane emissions by up to 80%. But doing that today currently requires daily interventions at enormous expense. And it just doesn't scale. Mm. But with precision microbiome solution, editing, we have an opportunity to modify a calf's microbiome at, at birth limiting that animal's impact on the climate for its entire lifetime. Did you hear that? 
They're going to alter the DNA of the calf, a, a, a young baby cow, um, so that it's going to have this new DNA structure throughout its entire life for the purposes of saving the planet, not knowing what this is going to do to human beings. Or maybe they do know, ladies and gentlemen, which again, very, very sinister things that are going on here that we have to pay very close attention to. And this is uh, beneficial for farmers because reduced methane production means more efficient conversion of feed into food. Importantly, these tools can be used in the future to reduce methane emissions from other sources like landfills, wastewater, and rice paddies. Ultimately, microbiomes generate up to two-thirds of all of the methane emissions globally. So our technology could really move the needle in our fight against climate change. Now, let's not forget where this technology has already led to uh, over there in China, where they're using it specifically to alter the DNA of their soldiers to try to create some sort of like super soldier. Um, in their laboratory experiment, nearly 90% of the human embryonic cells carrying the water bear gene survived a lethal exposure to X-ray radiation, according to the team led by this professor with the Radiation Biotechnology Laboratory at the Academy of Military Sciences in Beijing. Um, but the team acknowledges some huge unknowns. Adding an alien gene from the water bear into human embryonic cells could lead to harmful mutations or even kill the cells because of the genetic gap between the two species, a risk that their team was aware of, but they went ahead anyways. The shielding proteins are unique to the water bears. The immunity response after cross-species expression is unknown and it can lead to safety issues. They wrote that. They envisioned possible future applications of their genetic manipulation technique centered on water bear experiments in cases related to treatment, acute radiation sickness for first responders, uh, responders military personnel, or anyone near a nuclear, nuclear fallout zone. They also foresee an era of the future where super soldiers and genetically altered humans are capable of surviving a nuclear apocalypse. Again. This is the kind of stuff that you would think is coming from some futuristic sci-fi movie. But no, they're laying it all out in a TED talk about how to alter our DNA to save the planet. And uh, to, to also save, save the cows from being killed. It's absolutely insane, guys. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. I want to remind you, you know, when they're going after the food and they're literally altering the, the DNA of the very cows that we eat, again, we have to stress the importance of a self-sustainable uh, uh, food secured garden that you can have for yourself moving forward. So I want to stress that as the number one thing people need to uh, remember to focus on, but also I want to remind you to protect whatever assets you do have in the bank by getting it out of there and putting it into gold and silver. Again, you call this number on the screen uh, during these business hours or you click the top link in the description below, you will get set up with a, it, it doesn't cost you anything, you'll get set up with a free investor's guide who you can talk to about a solid plan moving forward, guys. So just wanted to bring all of this to your attention <laughs> as uh, we're reaching this unprecedented time of gene splicing and DNA editing from people who claim they want to save the planet. Just wanted to bring all of this to your attention. Again, guys, uh, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching. Uh, if you do appreciate my efforts to bring you this info, please click that thumbs up button. Share this video with your friends and family who you think need to see it the most. And stay tuned, we're going to have more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free, free.